This is the Royal Financial Investment Group. As always, this is your host, Prince Dice, coming to you guys with another great, awesome, and magnificent video. Hope I'm just finding you on a good day. Uh, today's topic is going to be, I don't know the exact topic of it, but it's pretty much going to be breaking down dollars versus percentage. Dollars versus percentage. But before I jump into the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, give me some feedback, let me know how I can get better, all the other good stuff. So... Just jump straight into the video because I don't have a lot of time. I definitely know you guys don't have a lot of time. So something I see a lot that a lot of uh, people that come onto the market, they, you know, maybe they may come on with a small amount, maybe $1,000, $500, a couple hundred or a thousand dollars. And they say, hey, you know, looking for some stock to buy, stock to buy. Just like I was when I started, you know, you usually look for the cheaper stocks because you say, hey, the cheaper stock, I can get more of them, which is true, right? So I want to give you an example of how, at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter about the price of the stock. It's always the percentage. Pay attention to the percentage. And I want to show you how the percentage breaks down things. Because a lot of people can fool you, put the cover of your eyes about uh, a dollar amount versus the percentage. Always pay attention to the percentage. And this is why, right? So let's take, for example, you go in here, you see stock symbol D. I don't like a U. I got horrible handwriting too, so please forgive me. So that's the stock symbol B, and it costs $10. Then we have stock symbol, oh, let's say it costs $10. Then we have stock symbol B that costs $500. Right? We see that? B stock costs $10, one stock costs $500. So let's say if I have $500. So if I have $500, I would get 50 shares of B, right? 50 shares. And if I have $500, I want to get one share of B stock, right? 50 shares of one, pretty simple. You know, I got $500, I invested to one, I get one share over here, 50 shares over here. Now, let's say if both stocks move, uh, 10% in one day, which most stocks don't move 10% in one day, but it can't happen. Let's say both of them move 10%. Both of us made a 10% return on an investment. Now, we both made a 10% return on investment. Which stock will be worth more? It will be the same. This is why. So, if this stock moves uh, 10%, 10% of $10 is $1. 10% of $10 is one dollar right so the stock moved 10 percent. so i made one dollar per share i got 50 shares how much money did i profit fifty dollars now we go over here this stock moves 50 uh 10 percent 10 percent of 500 dollars is how much fifty dollars right fifty dollars fifty dollars times one equals what fifty dollars you guys see that? So both stocks moved 10% and I both equaled out $50. The only difference is this person has 50 shares versus this person has one share. Now the big difference is this person here can say, hey, you know what? I'm going to sell half of my shares and keep the rest. They can do that since they have a number of shares versus this person here. He has one share or she has one share. They can sell. They can't, you know, sell half of it or whatever. So um that's one thing so a lot of people look at the dollar amount i mean a lot of people look at the dollar amount hey look this stock is cheaper so i get more shares but at the end of the day if both of these stocks move it's kind of the same it's the premises i'm getting behind that i'm gonna give you guys another scenario right so a lot of people will tell you hey guess what guys i made fifty thousand dollars today i made fifty thousand or oh, this person said hey i made ten and we're like wow this person made fifty thousand dollars and a month. How do they do it? But you have to pay attention to the percentage. I'm going to give you a scenario. Let's say we got person A and we have person B, right? Person A makes uh, $1,000. Person B makes $10,000 off of an investment. So person A had an investment, he made $1,000. Person B had an investment, he made $10,000, right? So when people look at this, they're automatically, when you're looking at the dollar value, 
you're going to say person A had the better investment. Not person A, but you're going to say person B had the better investment because he made more money. Because you're looking at the dollars, right? Because person B made 10000 versus person A. Person B has to be the better investor is what most people are going to think. But now, what if I told you this? What if I told you person A only invested $500 and person B invested $100,000? Now, knowing this, who would you say was the better investment and better in investor? Now you know that, hey, well, person A only put in $500 and made 1000 versus person B put in $100,000 and only made 10000 So by knowing this, now you know person A is the better investor. Now how you can break this down even more, now let me tell you how percentages play a big role. Because now, if I told you person A made 100% return on investment, I'm going to put ROI for return on investment. But person B, he only made a 10% return on investment. Now by looking at percentage, I'll put an ROI over here. Person A made 100% return on investment because he invested $500. He doubled his money. It's now worth $1,000. Person B invested $10,000 and they made, I mean, they invested $100,000. They made $10,000. Making their return on investment 10%. They made a 10% return on investment, and then person A made a 100% return on investment. Now, knowing that information, you can easily say person A made their better investment. Because if person A would have had person B's money, how much money would he have made? He would have made $100,000. Because you can look at the percentage. That's why when you see me talk on Facebook, that's why when you see me talk on Twitter, Instagram, or anything, I never tell you the dollar amount of what I make. I always tell you the percentage. I know some people that go around and say, hey, I made $2,000 today, and I made this or whatever, but you have to look how much money they're putting in. These people are making $2,000, but they're investing $200,000. So when you really look at it, they're only making 1% or 2% return on money. Now, I'm not knocking that. That's great. But don't be fooled by the Jedi mind trick. Pay attention to the percentages. And you can look at this, it's in your face. These are all numbers, all factual. Don't forget, if you got any questions, issues, or concerns, uh, drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Until the next video, you guys know what to do. Be safe.